In this episode, I share my no-code stack to build SaaS businesses in days, tools for my products, so front-end, back-end, database, and APIs, tools for my marketing, newsletter, analytics, media channels, and tools for my systems, processes, planning, and execution. For those who are new, my name is Sergio Leis, and every Sunday, I share stories on my solopreneur journey. This is week 11, and I have $4,000 left in savings. You can subscribe or join my newsletter if you want to be part of the journey. All right, let's go. So I actually don't use a Frankenstein of tools for my product. I've seen other YouTubers doing this, but I'd rather keep things nice and simple. So I'm all in with Bubble. They say to be the only full stack no code platform. I don't know if this is true, but I love it. I use the design tab to visually build the different pages of my app. It's very similar to learning Figma, so it does take a bit of time, but after a few weeks, you get the hang of it. I have no design or tech background, just so you know, I'm just a normal business guy. For the back end, I use the workflows tab where I define the logic for when something happens these steps or actions have to be triggered so maybe when the button sign up is clicked then we create a new user and take this user to the dashboard i use the data tab for the database i believe they store data in aws but i don't care as long as they keep it simple for me from here i create the different data types or what we would know as tables in an excel spreadsheet and then the different fields for each table again like columns in an excel i can later view my data literally like an excel inside of bubble with the different tables and the different columns. Then I use the API connector to integrate with external platforms, maybe to push data out or to bring data in. A very simple example is pushing the user to my email marketing platform. So I've created an API call with Mailer Send, and now every time a user signs up, I push this email automatically to Mailer Send. For payments, I use Stripe like anyone building anything. I don't have to do complex API integrations, which I could, but I'd rather go the easy way. In Stripe, I have an option to create subscription subscription links or product links. So I simply create products inside of Stripe and then create payment links for each product. I design a pricing page inside of Bubble and drop these payment links so the user can be taken to the checkout. Inside the links, I have an option to set up the redirection after purchase. So here I'll take them back to my platform and display a confirmation message. I also use webhooks in Stripe and Bubble to listen every time a purchase is happening and automatically trigger a workflow to create a new sale entry in my database. So yeah, this is how I built my products. Now let's see how I run my marketing. So for marketing, first thing I do is set up my analytics, like the core conversion tracking in my platform. I need to understand what users are doing inside of my website. This way I can see what's working and what's not. These events can be the user signing up, subscribing, purchasing, whatever brings value to your business. I like to keep a simple funnel. We don't have to get obsessed. Users visiting my website, leads subscribing to my newsletter and purchases of my product or subscription. So to track this, I'll trigger a data layer push every time an event happens and I use Google Tag Manager to push these events to the different marketing platforms like Meta, Google Analytics, TikTok, whatever we use. They all have their own tracking codes or pixels so we can later see these conversions in their dashboards. I also use Google Analytics as my core analytics platform which will tell me which platforms are bringing the most conversion. In terms of channels to bring traffic in, at the moment I use MailerLite to send email automations when people join my newsletter. I use Instagram for short videos to share my journey every week as transparent as I can. I use YouTube for long videos, diving into specific topics like this one you're watching. And I'm starting paid ads on Meta also to find my people out there. To improve my product, I use Hotjar to see what the user is actually doing. Session recordings are super useful to get ideas on what to improve. And you can also collect feedback from the user. But I'd rather do this directly on my Slack community channel because we get more personal here. In the end, we're all figuring out how to start our businesses. Great, so that's my marketing strategy. Now tools I use to get my systems in place. Okay, so systems are not so much about tools, they're more about habits. I do use Notion to track my weekly tasks. I've used crazy templates before because I felt more important using them, but now I prefer to keep things simple so I can focus like a beast. I use a simple Kanban board for not started, in progress and completed, and I divide tasks into product and marketing. For time blocking, I use my Google Calendar. I know it's not a fancy tool, but strategic time management has been crucial for me. So I work in blocks of two hours and rest one hour in between, where I'll go for a 
a walk, eat or meditate, literally recharge my energy. I found this way I can get a ton of work done. And I also divide my weeks into marketing days and product days. So Mondays I do marketing short videos for Instagram. Tuesdays I do my marketing long videos for YouTube. And Wednesdays, Thursdays and Fridays I focus on building my product. This way I don't burn out, which I have in the past. And I can be in the game for the long run, which I believe is how guys like Noah Kagan, Justin Wells or Alex Ramosi have made it. They're all about systems and competing for the long run. I want to get to know you guys. So maybe you want to drop your thoughts in the comments. It also helps me push the algorithm. So I'd really appreciate your help. Here's another story on how I do meta ads for Coca-Cola, my entire strategy so you can steal whatever you need for your business. Thanks for spending your time with me and I'll see you in the next one.